Now we learn about the density. So density is the thing by which you control the number of hairs grown from the surface. But first, enable our skin to see hairs. From here we control the density of hairs. You can adjust according to the demand of the character or scene. You can also type here. The next thing is width so let me just zoom in so you can see the effect. Here I get some problems so let me just update my scene. You can control the density by slider given below. You also define where you want to start the taper effect. But do not go with a crazy taper which may cause anti-aliasing issues or we can say jitter in hair's etch. So don't put one here. 0.8 to 0.9 is a pretty good number. The next setting is tilt normal which tilt hairs according to its normal direction. The next slider around normal. Which is good if you want to make grass. But I hardly use the setting. Now I just want to edit width to get a good realistic width of hair. Zero point zero one is very less. So just let increase the value. This is too thick. Let's just go with 0.02. Now I want to make variations in the width of the hair. Just click this icon to open the script dialog box. Now just type rand here, which automatically gives you random script. And insert the minimum and maximum value of width. Click on accept. Now you see that there is variation in the width of hairs. To show you more accurately I want to increase the values. As you see here there is variation in width here. You can edit the values from here too. Now you can see there is a difference in width. To see my hairs better in viewport I just edit some settings. Just enable ambient and occlusion. Also, edit the anti-aliasing, but remember not to give too much value my I will start lag. This is all the thing about the width and density you must remember for future lessons.
there is a quick tip to turn off tube shader to better see your hairs without shading. So we learn more settings in the next sessions.